figure out uh, how to stay warm in here. Hey, Dave, over joining me now from the Carbon Bar. Thank you so oh, much yeah. for coming in and or coming outside here outside, with me. Yeah. I'm going to be honest it's with not you. Too bad. You're gonna dress you're bundled, up for you're bundled it. up yes. because I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I put the cover on the barbecue and I've already forgot about it. But you're saying no, 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 no. There's so much more you can do. Absolutely. Okay. What are we cooking up today? Because we're well, coming up on American Thanksgiving. There we go. So today I have a nice uh, turkey that we have smoked and barbecued. So uh, we used a little bit of. Uh, I kind of like take the skin and loosen it up underneath there and kind of put some butter in there and some bay leaves. And now what we've done is like we kind of smoked it for about six hours. Six hours on the barbecue. Yeah, so you six set hours. it, forget it. Or uh, not really. Not so, not so <laughs> really, right? But you can see beautiful meat. And what we've done is like, you leave the cover on, you create a hot stone and yeah. a cold stone with some bricks. So you have charcoal on one end, and then you have an, 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 uh, a warm stone on another end. So that the, the bird doesn't burn, oh, right? Because it drips fat. You put the cover on and just keep adding charcoal for every hour or so. So you need to pay close attention. So you yeah, cannot forget you want the about temperature this to one. be about 250. Good tools to have is about like a nice thermometer, so you can actually see what the temperature is of the barbecue. Mm -hmm. You can buy the bigger ones, and you can actually see where the temperature of the bird is. So, Hidden, my big question is: so if you're cooking different things on the barbecue, because you don't just eat the bird, uh, you want vegetables, you want some roasted elements on there. Can you get them all on the same time, and how do you monitor when yeah. to take them off? So. Absolutely. So we've done some great sites uh, as well. So we've done a an, an, an roasted whole head of barbecue cauliflower. Okay. We're going to place this right over here. Okay. So that's the cauliflower right here. You can see the whole head. We just rubbed it with a little barbecue rub and then slowly roasted it for a long time. And um, What's on your rub? Well, this has a little bit of 36 spices, so it's pretty complicated. So we don't have time to go over it. <laughs> okay. But it has, the, it has the elements that you want. And then we have, we have the cauliflower cut up. You can do that ahead of time and just warm up as a salad, as a side dish. So you have okay. still that barbecue flavor you just need it. Yeah, the and barbecue essence. essence. Okay. And then we have a beautiful quinoa salad, roasted mushrooms, uh, and then nice chunks of roasted, uh, perfectly barbecued cauliflower. Uh, we have our another thing to spice things up a little bit for for the for the festive season is mm -hmm. our uh, stuffed poblano chili. It's called uh, chili rellenos, obviously from Mexico. Is this one hot? This one is uh, warm. It's cooled down because we're outside. But we have a smoked tomato emulsion, and the, yeah. the, the pepper itself, the poblano, is a little bit milder. So it's not spicy. It's not yeah. too okay. spicy. Okay. Uh, which lends itself really well. Uh, but it depends on the season. The if hotter. you if you put it on the barbecue, does it take away some of its heat? It, or? it allows to burn off the skin. I so see. So that's okay. what you want. So you remove the skin afterwards once yeah. it's charred. Uh, we, it has a little bit of a smoky flavor, yes. and then we stuffed it with an, with an, uh, with a con picadillo, which is basically a beef ragu with olives and raisins and spices and cinnamon, a little I bit of tomato. It. I love it. And then we just warm it up and a little bit of cotilla cheese, which is like a Mexican briny cheese, and we okay. also add a little bit of Oaxaca cheese, which is a melty cheese. And you have to get these from more of a specialty place. Those are not in no, all of the grocery yeah, stores. Yeah, the, is it? the market has uh, has great places uh, like yeah, like Parolas, where you can actually buy a lot of those stuff. Yes. Yeah, love I pick it, it up there. So. So. Now, can you do this on the barbecue? This no, but I <laughs> okay. thought I thought okay. it would fit the scene to no, finish it everything looks lovely. Off. I was going to say because I need to know the trick. If you can't do this one on the barbecue, no. uh, okay. Maybe if you have a good cast iron Dutch oven, you, you could. Okay. Yeah, in a campfire, I can see myself yes. doing that. Yes, but this can go in the oven while you're doing your barbecuing, while exactly. you're doing your grilling. What are some of the big mistakes that people make when they put things on the barbecue in the winter time? Is it that they forget about it? They forget about it. They, yeah. they don't want to be outside. Dress a little bit warmer. And have a little bit of a prep table, so you have like it's nice to have a table, so you have your sauces ready, you have your thermometers, you have your proper tongs. Mm -hmm. Often people buy those flimsy barbecue tongs yeah. that are really heavy. Yes. But those you can buy at any good kitchen store, and they you have much more grip, and yes. they're not heavy, so you. you hey. So that's those so are little tricks, are right? Yeah. And when do you know? Okay, so I'm looking at this cauliflower. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm thinking this guy's burned. This is no good anymore, but this is perfect. No, that's a nice little mark on it. Can you show the bottom bits? there, just to the camera there? That's what you want it to look There's like. A couple pieces that you might cut off. Yeah. But yeah, you want that crispiness. Right? Okay, so the consistency should be that it's crispy, Absolutely. that it's not soft anymore. Yeah, you can anymore. see when you cut into it. Well, you want, you know when cauliflower gets mushy? Yes. So what I would do, I use a little knife and okay. actually feel if you still have some resistance. Then you're good. Then you're good. And then when you cut into it, look oh, at that beautiful, beautiful. smoky and white, uh, soft tender meat. And then the outside has a little bit of a crispy bark almost as you call it in barbecue, right? But and that, chef, you make these like like uh, steaks almost? I would cut those in do... wedges, yeah. Okay. This is a great vegetarian dish. Right now it's currently on a menu as a vegetarian option and yep. we sell to people that are not vegetarian because they just yeah. love it. It's just such a fun way to eat. Absolutely. Okay, so and many healthy. more ideas. So many more and you're the Carbon Bar executive chef there. 
carbonbar.ca or breakfasttelevision.ca if you want some of these recipes and you want to go check them yeah, out. Come check us out. That's Thank great. you so much. We're taking a quick break here. You're watching DT. I'm going to try that now. Good.